Okay, so still um, thinking about cutting patterns and their consequence. I talked about quarter sawing and through sawing, uh, but talking about the figure of the wood, but also there's other things that obviously we know about wood. We know that we have sap wood and we have heartwood. So depending on where we take a cut through this tree, if we do a through sawn piece here, which is also the same as a quarter sawn piece if we go through the middle, then we're going to have a mixture of heartwood in the middle and sapwood on the outside, which may or may not be a good thing. We might want to have the attractive appearance of a, uh, a heartwood band in the middle of this plank that we've removed because it will look a different colour and we can use that uh, to give us an attractive figure. But we have to remember that if we were going to use this wood in a high um, in an environment where we're going to be out of doors and we're exposed to weathering or to decay fungi, then we have to remember that the heartwood is more durable than the sapwood, so we may then have problems with the sapwood decaying if we were going to use this for cladding. Uh, and there's <coughs> requirements for cladding materials not to have exposed sapwood anyway. <coughs> so we wouldn't be able to use a plank of that type in a cladding application because the sapwood would rot away very quickly, just leaving the heartwood behind. So we have to decide where this wood's going to go, um, what type of environment it's going to go into. And the other thing we have to be aware of as well, if we remember back to a previous lecture, um, drawing our highly idealised tree. I think sawmillers would be very pleased if they could get trees growing like this. Um, we have this issue of juvenile wood. And juvenile wood behaves differently from mature wood. When you dry it, it will distort in a different way. It will change dimensions in a different way. So if you have a mixture of um, juvenile and mature wood, maybe we've taken a plank from this part of the tree. So we've not just got heartwood, we've also got juvenile wood and mature wood. Uh, when we dry a plank of that type, um, that may distort because of the presence of juvenile wood. It can give all sorts of issues. It's unavoidable. We can't do anything about juvenile wood. It's produced by the tree for perfectly good reasons. And the other thing we have to be aware of when we're producing timber from trees, again, if you remember back to a previous lecture, if we're looking at softwoods, we have a reaction wood that's produced by trees that don't grow straight. Um, and in that case, they produce something called compression wood. And that behaves differently from ordinary mature wood. So again, if you have compression wood in there, then that can lead to distortion of the plank when you dry it. Maybe you've got a mixture of heartwood, juvenile wood and compression wood all in the same plank, in which case you're in a lot of trouble because that is definitely going to distort when you dry it. Add knots to that picture with the more complex grain pattern that you have surrounding knots and all sorts of issues can arise. So ideally, you want your trees to be straight, perfectly tapered, um, you want them to be knot free. Um, you would like to maximise the heartwood as much as you possibly could. All these things will give you a much higher quality of wood from your, your trees and will lead to a higher market value. Uh, other things that can give you high quality wood are, if you grow the trees slowly, you get a much more predictable um, laying down of the early wood and the late wood as the tree grows. So trees that grow in, um, well this is for softwoods especially, trees that grow in environments where you don't have lot, a lot of wood laid on each year. So they're, they're, they're actually more um, challenging environments for trees to grow in, but from the point of view of the sawmiller, they produce much better quality wood. From the point of view of the forester, you have to wait a much longer time to, before you can fell the tree, so you get less money from the forest, but you get much better quality wood on the whole from forests of that type. 